first. Let's get this match started in three, two, one, go. Five out of six, four out of six robots moving in autonomous mode. 234, up and over, gets that mobility bonus before they climb back on the charge station. That's a big 21 points all by themselves to Cyber Blue. Red Alliance has the early lead, 24 to 15, following autonomous mode as we slide into the teleop portion of our program. 42-72 looking to stay upright this match as they scoop up Cone. Three game pieces high on both sides of the field, one game piece low on both sides of the field. The grid portion of this match is completely tied up. The difference in the match being that better autonomous program from the Red Alliance. Red has a link completed. Reminder, there is a five point bonus for every link. In addition to the sustainability they may get if they get five or more links. Blue Alliance has two, two thirds of a link. 42-72 looking to finish the high link on the high, and they do. So that one cone is worth 10 points. Five for the high placement and five extra for that link. 234 following suit on their side. Links are discrete, they cannot overlap. Once a game piece is scored as a link, it cannot be used in another link. Seventeen forty-one, swinging that cube right between itself, getting into position and plops it mid in the cooperation area. We enter the end game portion of this match. Score is basically tied up. Two thirty-four, very precarious, but it still scores on the hybrid zone, so they get three points out of that. With 10 seconds remaining in this match, looking at a possible triple climb on the red side, on the blue side. On the red side, we've got two on, two seconds, one. Seventeen twenty, able to keep that arm up off the ground. The referees and field crew are going to take a closer look at this match before we post the score. Make sure everything is in tip-top shape. Results are up. We see the winners are the Red Alliance. Two thirty-four making that climb into the top ten.